Hello, welcome to Radford University's online tutorial for how to access and set up the accessibility options on your iPod Touch. In this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate to the accessibility options on your iPod Touch, and you will also learn how the accessibility options benefit diverse learners in your classroom. It should be noted that the following accessibility options that are covered in this video can only be found in the 32 gigabyte or higher iPod Touches. Let's get started. Okay. On the home screen, find and choose the settings icon. Next, choose general. Flick up and choose accessibility. The first one we're going to look at in the accessibility menu is voiceover, so choose that. VoiceOver is basically a screen reader for the iPod Touch. It'll read any text on the screen. Now there are several options in the VoiceOver menu. You can practice the VoiceOver gestures. You can choose whether or not you want the VoiceOver narrator to speak hints to you. You can choose how fast or slow the speaking rate is for the VoiceOver narrator. And then also you can choose what feedback you will receive as you type from the voiceover narrator. You can choose characters, words, characters and words, or nothing. Let's go back to the voiceover screen. Now, the gestures used for voiceover are to speak an item, touch it. To tap and choose a selected item, you're going to double tap. To scroll, you can flick three fingers or I prefer to use just one. Now to get an example of how voiceover sounds, turn it on. Voiceover on. Settings. Accessibility. Button. And that's exactly what it'll sound once it's on. It'll read any text on the screen, including when you're in Safari. Let's go ahead and turn voiceover off. So simply tap. Voiceover. Voiceover. Switch. And button. then on. double tap. Now let's go back to the accessibility menu. Now voiceover will be used with any student that has visual difficulties. Now zoom, your next option, is basically uh, it magnifies the entire screen. To zoom, all you have to do is double tap with three fingers. Let's turn it on. And then you're going to double tap with three fingers. And that zooms it in. To navigate, you use your three fingers once again. And to change your zoom, all you have to do is double tap with two fingers and then flick up or down at the same time. And this also can be used with students that have visual difficulties. Now white on black is also another one that can be used with students that have visual difficulties. And basically all it does is it provides a higher contrast resolution to all of the menus on the iPod Touch. For example, if you turn it on, this is what it does to your menus. And that'll work with all menus on your iPod Touch, including the home screen. Mono audio basically works for students who have hearing difficulties. Once turned on, it will play both the left and right audio channels in both earbuds. So if you have a student that's possibly deaf in one ear, they will still be able to get the full sound experience by turning on mono audio. Let's turn that one off. Speak auto text. Basically, automatic, what it does is it automatically speaks auto corrections and auto capitalizations as you're typing. And it can be used in conjunction with voiceover and also with Zoom. And finally, in your accessibility menu, you have what's called triple click home. And if you choose that, basically what that does is you can choose to toggle voiceover or toggle white on black by simply triple clicking the home key. Or you can even prompt it for it, for it to ask you what you would like to do. In this video, we have learned how to navigate to the accessibility options on your iPod Touch, and we've also learned how the accessibility options benefit diverse learners.